Here is my extruder. Um, very simple design. Um, really easy to build. All from hardware store parts. No printed parts needed. It's very simple, like I said. Um, but uh, it works fine for me. Um, this is basically what it is. It's half inch copper pipe with threading on either end and just an end cap with a hole drilled in the end. I think it's 1 16th. Um, and then it's just screwed in right into a piece of plexiglass and like I said in the how-to um, you could uh, use a tap and die to make it a little bit more professional but I um, just drilled a hole slightly smaller and tried to work it in there. And I put a little bit of JB weld, high heat JB weld, to make that not move at all. And the plexiglass sort of acts as a, like a heat displacer, so when, um, if that's even a word, um, it kind of uh, dissipates the heat before it gets to the, it gets to the motor and the Z-axis so it doesn't burn anything. Um, but uh, it does a great job of that, and again, um, the plexiglass is, um, using JB Weld um, is used to uh, put it right on top of the angle iron right here. It's aluminum ang angle iron. Um, and there's two pieces, so I could mount it on the back side. You could see how I drilled, I mean how I um, glued it on right down here. See, there's two pieces. So this acts as a, um, like a backing plate, so I could, I use JB Weld. You could find some way to put tiny uh, nuts on there to make it look a little bit more professional or make it stronger. Same thing with the uh, um, extruder hooking onto the the drive mechanism. Put some little bolts in there on the sides, make it a little bit wider, and you got a, got it a little bit stronger. But like I said, it works fine for me right now. I've had no problems. Um, the only difference is I burnt out my extruder, my temperature sensor by accident. So there's no capped on tape on here. So this is not the finished version. Um, it's just imagine the extruder with a little bit of capped on tape to make it a little bit acts as an insulator. And there's also a little piece of insulation. Um, I got that at my hardware store. Really simple. Looks like um, foam almost. Um, here's my drive mechanism. My ball bearing that I got from MakerBot. Um, and here. I couldn't think of the name for this. It's right, sorry, it's blurry. The end of this is like, um, I got it from a printer and scanners you could find it too. It's kind of like a, it's like a belt drive pulley almost. I didn't use the MakerBot one um, because it's too big for the motor that I bought. So I kind of opened up one of my printers and found one of these and thought, well, it fit perfectly. So I'll put a little bit more of JB Weld to hook it on there nice and tight. And I got it. And now for here, um, I drilled it out a little bit um, on both sides so I could untighten this and move it around if I wanted to. So if it gets stuck, or maybe if you're using a different material that's a little bit thicker, just move it out. Also, there's a hole. I don't know if you could see it. Yeah, you could see it sort of. Um, and I drilled that right underneath, and that goes right into the nozzle right here. Um, works perfectly, no problems. And like I said in the how-to, um, if you have any questions or uh, if maybe you see a design improvement that maybe I could uh, um, put on here and make it better and make a V2, um, please post it and I'll make an even, even um, better um, how-to so everybody could see it. Um, great.